Hey, in this video, I will show you how to create a contact form for your website. So here, enter your name, Tony. Email, Tony at the rate gmail.com. Okay. So subject is this is cool. Okay. The form is validated. Okay, now submit. Thanks for contact us. Now go to admin. Here the contact form of Tony is added. So when the contact form is valid, then the model will save. Otherwise not. This is the Django project and this is the Django application. So at first go to the project and go to settings.py and install the app now go to urls.py here add a path for the application import the include now go to application and create urls.py Ok, now go to views and create a function for index. This function for home page. Return render request and the template name is index.html. Ok, now save it. Create here a folder named templates. Inside the templates create a html file index.html. Now go to bootstrap and copy the starter template. Now paste here. Ok, so here I change the title. Ok, so now copy a nav bar. Now copy it and paste here. Now save it. Now go to the urls.py and create a path for the index function. At first, import the views from dot import views. Now create a path views dot index and name of url is index. Now save it. Now run the server. Ok. So now go to bootstrap and find a form. Now create a form with name, email address and the subject. The subject is text area. Now create a button for submit. Ok. So save it and run the server. So you can see the contact form with your name, your email address and the subject. Here the name attribute is very important because I will use in the views function. Enter a name attribute. Ok. So for your name the name attribute is name. For email address the name attribute is email. And for the subject, the name attribute is subject. This is very important. Ok, now go to models.py and create a model for your name, email address and subject. So go to models.py and create a class. Name contact. Inherit from models.model. Ok, so now create field for name, email and subject. The name is character field and email is email field and the subject is text field. Now define a str function and it returns self.name. Now go to admin.py and register the model contact. At first you have to import the model contact. Now register it. Now save it and go to views.py. Now here type if request dot method 
equal post okay so now go to the template and here type method equal post okay now save it and go to views.py at first you have to import the model from dot models import contact okay so now if request method is equal post create a object for contact so contact equal contact okay so now name equal request dot post dot get and the name attribute for the name is name so here type name similarly type for email and the subject okay so the name attribute for email is email and the name attribute for subject is subject okay now type contact sorry contact t a c t contact dot name i already created a field for name email and the subject i want to store the name email and subject in the contact model okay so contact dot name means this equal this name okay so this name which is input by the user now contact dot email equal email this email is this and now contact dot subject equal subject okay now i want to save the form so type contact dot save you can create logic for contact form validations but here i don't want to create it and when the contact form is saved then return return http response at first you have to import http response form django dot http import http response okay so here type return http response and and pass a string thanks for contact i have enter a h1 tag okay so now save it and go to cmd now make migration and migrate the model okay now create a super user Okay password is admin and the username is admin Now run the server Okay so type a name john and type a email address john@gmail.com and the subject is your website is very good i want I want to help your website. So this is the subject and click on submit. Uh now okay CSRF token missing or incorrect. So go to templates and under the form tag type CSRF token. CSRF underscore token and you have to remove the action because you are in same views function. now save it and run the server so fill the contact form okay now i have filled the contact form now click on submit thanks for contact us so go to admin type username and password go to contact okay you can see here the contact form is saved 
Okay, now again run the localhost. Now type another name John and subject type this is good site. Okay, if you click on submit, then the contact form will say because you have no validation for email address or name or subject. Okay, so you have to add the validation. For the form validation, you can add required at the input tag. So I have add required in the input tag name and email. And also I want to add required at text area. So here type required. Now save it. You can add a class was validate in the form tag. Now save it and run the server. So here I type uh, Johnny. Now if you click on submit, the form is not valid. Okay. And this green tick or red tick, this is for the class was validated. Okay. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel.